Okay, so we're going to start going through this lecture of uh, tolerance, um, improved tolerance for our patients. We're going to do advanced morpheus. So um, treatments, like we said, should be well tolerated. So you're going to do one of two things. You remember, you're going to decrease your settings or increase your anesthesia. We walked through this during the morpheus lecture. So when you think about increasing anesthesia, this is the point of the day where we're going to talk about what are those measures? How can we increase our level of anesthesia? We've got all these opportunities. Uh, number one, the baseline, the foundation, where you're going to start is everybody should get 23% seven lidocaine tetracaine plasticized. We gave you the reasons why plasticized is very, very important. You can use my QR code to get the good stuff. Um, it's much more inclusive, which is going to yield a higher um, uptake. So this is your lidotet. That's where everybody starts. Now let's say your patient is not tolerating the procedure well. Then the next thing that you could consider is an inhalation anesthetic like Pronox. Pronox is fantastic. You need to go talk to them out there. Um, I don't know what the show pricing is, what the special deal is, but I know we use it frequently as our first measure of like, hey, if they're not doing well, just have them huff on some Pronox, which our patient will do. And then there's also some PO medications that you can add. There's short-term benzos and there's pain medications. Some people are using like a 5 or 10 Norco or Lortab, whatever your variety is, hydrocodone is, pre-treatment. Some people are using all kinds, I've heard MLK melts, and I think we're just starting to get a little crazy on that stuff, probably not necessary, but it is opportunities when you think about oral medications. The reason why I don't, the reason why I rarely use orals is because you're signing someone up to be drunk and hungover for like six or eight hours for a 20 minute treatment, right? So if you give an oral pill and you give Valium and you give, we used to do 10 of Valium, 10 of um, hydrocodone, for a big procedure that we were about to do. But that's great. They do well. They talk about but then they're freaking hung over for the next eight hours and they feel like trash versus just give us some facial nerve blocks. Yeah, some more sticks and they're totally numb, but then they can go out to dinner. A lot of our patients after this, they'll go out to dinner immediately after this. Yeah, they look a little funny, but they feel just fine because we're just keeping it to maybe an inhalation anesthetic that wears off in 20 minutes and a local block. Okay, so um, then, so your other opportunities live in here, and this is where we're going to start talking. Um, when we think about injections, and I told you kind of my, um, my process is everyone gets topical, and you just sprinkle on some of this other stuff um, as, as you go along. So the topical, we mentioned all of these things. The thing that I did not mention is occlude when able, so on body parts. Uh, like an abdomen or a thigh or um, anywhere on the body, it's very, very easy to occlude with saran wrap. That really helps your uptake and that really helps the level of anesthesia that they get from the topical. It's harder to occlude the face, although Amazon does make hole cutouts, eye cutouts if you wanted to occlude the face. That's why the plasticize is very important on the face. 45 minutes is better than 30, but one hour is not better than 45. Something about 45 is magical. Okay, and this is your max, five grams per application. It's hard to know what a gram is when you're talking about topical. It's about a six inch, it's a, about a six inch um, 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 squeezed from the tube is your max per application or 20 grams in a day. 